You know, I have never seen people get so excited over cling film and tin foil. Yes, the basics is out there. Good afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me once again. Um, as you know, that many of you have now received the Back to Basics uh, catalog flyer, and already we're getting people excited about some of the basics products in there. And you remember the whole idea was to give people what they want in the hope that when they see this catalog, they'll buy something from the basics range and then open the other catalogs as well. Because one of the greatest things that we can do with catalog placement is actually get people to open the bloody things. So what we'll hopefully get is that people buying from the basics, getting excited about cling film and plastic mop buckets and cooker hood filters, etc., etc., and then being pleased with the products in there and then opening, of course, the other catalogs of which, of, of which, of course, you know, our range is now continuously getting better and bigger and it will continue to do so. If you recall last week, I gave you a rundown of some of the catalogs coming your way. Um, and the next one coming your way, of course, is April. Sometime in April, I'll give you a very, um, I'll give you a date closer to, to the time, um, but garden, outdoor, and a whole lot more. Of course, says exactly what it, it does exactly what it says. There'll be garden products, outdoor products, and a whole range of other things, including, of course, eco-friendly products, which of course is the niche products that I keep going on about that I mentioned at the showcase as well. It's very important that we build our brand recognition, that people start to recognize us for something, not just the great distributors we have, but for having something very specific to us. So yes, there's a lot of excitement out there as the basics is with you. So, uh, I think many of you have already had that. Of course, for many of you, it's already on its way, but my recommendation would be looking at the feedback that we've had so far is to get those out as fast as possible to encourage our customers to buy more and of course open the other catalogs and I think the brightness and the boldness of it has really clearly worked already from the feedback that I've already seen so thank you for your feedback and of course thank you for doing what you know what to do best with catalogs and that is get them out not only to your customer bases but to new customers uh, um, a blanket dropping, dropping as well because that's also important that people find out about our brand and continue to grow it. So like I say, the next catalog that you will get is in April and it is of course April the 1st only next week, but no joke, you will get that in April and that will be again another new departure for us. And like I've said to you, the business is about evolution. It's about continuous growth, continually adapting and being flexible enough to be able to do that. And that's one of the beauties of having a new business, a true ground floor opportunity, because for once, you can plan it as you're going along. There is no restrictions in thinking, no restriction in planning. You know, we do what we feel is right for the business and that really does work. And that flexibility, I've never known it anywhere before. Never had that flexibility in all the corporations I've worked in. Never had that kind of ability and adaptability to change the things that we're doing. And as you've seen, for those of you that have been with us from the start, even if you've only been with us in 2019, you've already seen things changing as we're going along, and that's evolution. So basics out there, out there garden, outdoor, and a whole lot more coming your way. Tomorrow, like I promise you, I'll let you have the cry car, sorry, cry, the car criteria, um, because we promised that there would be a car criteria. criteria. I can't get my words out today because I'm actually at head office, that's probably why, and I, um, it, it, I can never get my words out here. So, car criteria coming your way tomorrow. Um, I said that would be in March, and of course, um, running by the seat of my pants as usual, so tomorrow there's car criteria. There will also be another figures update tomorrow, and further news on the brand new system and back office. And like I've said to you before, 
the current system we're using today will at some point very, very soon become obsolete as we go into a brand new system. Now with any system, what you want is simplicity and usability, if there's such a word. You want simplicity. And that's what we're trying to incorporate into that system. So thank you for bearing with us, but I'll give you another written update on that tomorrow, um, as well as the car criteria. And that kind of brings me up to date with the things that I said would happen in March. We'll talk about the showcase in a moment because I said to you about when the tickets would go on date uh, on sale. I'll give you that date as well. And what I'll do next week um, when we speak is give you some of the goals and aspirations for April. And then always trying to stick to those four or five changes that are fundamental in the business. It's kind of worked for March. We had four or five things that were fundamental to progress, fundamental to the business, and we've stuck to them. And by telling you openly, it kind of pushes me and all of us here to keep pushing for those things and getting them done. So I'll give you another set of those objectives next week. And if we can regularly do that, for every month, have sets sets of objectives that we want to achieve in the business, that's really useful for all, for all of us. Why? Because then it gives us targets to aim for and it hopefully makes you feel engaged in the business that I'm sharing with you some of the things that we want to do in the business and how we want it to grow. And that's Going back to what I've always said to you, it was always about being a partnership that you're involved in that. Now, I'll always give you objectives that I know that we're working on and we're trying to achieve. So March, like I said, we've managed to kind of achieve all of them. With you know, a little bit slower than I wanted to be on the back office, but myself and software engineering has never really got on. But I'll update you properly on that in an email tomorrow with your current numbers as well. So and again, give you a set of objectives for April next week. Now, um, of course, at the weekend, Lauren Hardy, Andy and Ram put on the big one, which from what I hear, it was a fantastic event, brilliant speakers, good training, but most importantly, a wonderful atmosphere. And that is important, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. But let me just tell you about the next big network meeting happening. It is the Scotland Millionaire, Millionaires on the 13th of April. Again, Andy and Ram will be speaking there. You can't really have an event without our, without our new Torval and Dean, Anton Deck, or whatever else you want to call them, because you know they, they, they have such an energy about them, and they have so much information to share. So they'll be there. The wonderful Sharon Davis, will be delivering a presentation again you know so unique in the business has been through so much in the organization and of course achieved so much we've got Lynette Taft the you know little dynamo of magic again so much information in there you'll love hearing her and uh, yours truly I will be there to undoubtedly dampen the spirit and of course Lynn herself will be there it will be a fantastic event 13th of April I'm sure Lynn will post um, a link on this um, on this video, um, and if you want to, of course, on the official um, Viva MK group as well, you'll see a link there uh, to buy tickets. That's thirteenth of April. Going back to the idea of meetings, as I've always said, that connectivity is so important that we connect. Now, there's a lot of businesses everywhere, and you know, everybody's everybody knows there's organizations we can all join. But one of the things when I first joined network marketing was an element of fun. Yes, we're there to make money. Yes, we're there to support people. Yes, we're there to grow. And yes, we're there to create organizations. But you know, I, I always think that they, it should also be fun to be involved in an organization. And one of the things I feel that many organizations are forgetting is that fun element. Now, I think we saw uh, an element of that at our showcase where everybody connected and everybody was full of energy and enthusiasm. And I think that's so key to, to, to this kind of business that people connect. And these meetings, the big one, the Scotland Millionaires, they always have such energy and enthusiasm and fun, connectivity, good people learning that, you know, and the possibility of what might be. And I think that's why it's so important to attend these events. 
And I personally think from what I've heard that many organizations are missing that at the moment. So whatever you're doing out there and whatever we're doing collectively, we're injecting some of that back into the industry. And I truly think it has been missing. Some organizations have got it, but some have gone down this really quite um, dull and unambitious route where they've suddenly forgotten it. it's got to be fun to be involved. You know, like I said earlier today, if you look at the people in your circle and you're not inspired, it's not your circle. You're actually in a cage. You know, you need to be inspired by the people you're around. And I'm hoping that our business does a lot of that and will continue to do so. Which brings me on to our forthcoming showcase, of course, which again is going to be about energy. It's going to be about enthusiasm, fun, connection, learning, possibility, and simply good people getting together. Of course, we will give you the brand new Christmas catalogue, which we perfectly timed on the 31st of August to hit the three or four lucrative months of Christmas season. Um, not only that, it'll celebrate our year in business. We'll have been a year old by then. Um, now, you, you, it's always difficult to try and come up to come up with a theme or an idea. I mean, I know birthdays enough, our usual shenanigans are enough, and the fact that we're launching Christmas is enough. But you know how often people have tried to thwart what I've been doing or what we've been trying to do, how often people tell you you can't achieve something and how often we've just battled through those barricades when people try and put them in our way, how we've gone over the roadblocks and crashed through all the negatives. And again, in this industry, you have to do that quite a lot. But you know as well as I do, the show must go on. You know, we must continue creating and building this business. And every single time somebody's tried to stop what I'm doing or what we're doing here or what you're doing, I always say to myself, the show must go on. And then I always say to myself, don't stop me now. And that should be a little clue to you. No, um, think about it. You know, show must go on. Some might even say the great pretender, but I prefer not, not to use that one. Some might even say break free. But the point is, the show must go on and don't stop me now. The Viva MK Don't Stop Me Now showcase. Now, that does not mean I am going to be wearing a little black moustache and very tight white trousers. That's something I do at home, not on stage. So, yes, there is going to be a queen theme to it. If you like the rock band Queen, of course there is going to be much Queen malarkey going on in the day. I think it's a perfect energetic setting for us. Yes, we could have gone down the Christmas route, but you know, wearing a white beard isn't that fun. Um, yes, we could have gone down the birthday cake route because we're a year old. We can do all that as well. But I truly believe that if you listen to the lyrics of Don't Stop Me Now, and you really need to listen to those today, you'll see what I need to mean about energy, enthusiasm, fun, connection, learning, possibility, and really don't ever try and stop me now. And the fact that the show really must go on. Yes, it is going to be a queen themed extravaganza showcase with all the energy that we can pump in into one day. Why? Because we can, that's why. We haven't got anybody telling us what we can't do. We can do what the hell we want. And, you know, moving on from the, the, the Greatest Showman, which was the perfect theme for us, there's so many songs and scenarios in the Queen portfolio that perfectly befit our business. And I truly think you'll love it. Um, and I think we'll have a great day. I'll tell you more about that as the days and weeks go by. Tickets go on sale next Wednesday at midday for both the gala dinner and, of course, the showcase. We're back at the BCEC in Birmingham, but I really think we're going to rock Birmingham. We're going to bring back the fun that's missing 
in this industry. It is the people's business. It should be about fun. You should want to be in the business because you feel valued in the business and you enjoy being in it. Not because somebody's told you to be in it or somebody's forced you to be in it or somebody's blackmailed you to be in it, but because there's an element of fun and belonging and value. And I truly think we can do that. And again, I said to you by the 31st of August, I will have reached 70, or we here, there's loads of us here, will have reached 75% of the goal that I set at the last showcase. And that was to give you one business where you can put your 100% effort in and make it grow. Because I know, and there's nothing wrong with it, you know, many people involved in many things but I think true growth really happens when you can put all of your effort into one situation. And if you do that, then you can see things grow and expand. So by 31st of August, I fully expect to be 75% of, uh, of the way there of giving you an organization that you can do that with. So on that day, we will celebrate everything, including over one year in business, the growth that we've already had, the recognition that we've already received, the sales that we've already done, and the fact that we're well on our way to creating one organization that everybody can buy into and grow with. Like I said, you know, be someone's human sunshine. You know, this business isn't just about creating basics catalogs. It's not just about selling product. It's about giving people an opportunity of a straightforward, simple, uncomplicated business where if you do A, B, C, you can make money, you can connect with people and feel naturally supported and valued. You know, I said right at the beginning, back on the 8th of June, that I wanted to be part of a business that valued every single individual, made people feel important, whether they only started last week or they were with us with it from the beginning. That will always, always be the goal in this business, that you feel valued. So be that human sunshine. We can do that for people. There's nothing complicated about this business. There's no auto ship and you end up with a garage full of products. There's nothing like that. You know, your overheads, we try and keep as low as humanely possible. So keeping your overheads low, your support strong, systems robust when we've got them working. You know, it just means that you can give people an opportunity to not only grow, but to be some be part of something really important. And I promise you that on Saturday 31st of August, we will celebrate that to its fullest. So don't stop me now and the show really must go on. Thank you for listening and I'll bring you more news next week. Thank you.